Hey lovelies, it's Heather here. Gonna go ahead and shoot tonight's video. If you've been watching my previous videos, you'll see where I talked about this guy that I've been talking to. Um, he's not from here and like, I don't know. <sighs> you never do. You never do until you actually like, you know, like you take it one day at a time. But anyways, um, I mean, you know, it's normal stuff, I guess you'd say, but and today has been a day because on top of normal stuff, I guess you could say, uh, my outdoor cat, Tiger, has been missing. I don't know where he's at. Um, I looked for him, you know, hollered for him, but I can't find him. I don't know where he's at. Um... He's usually home all the time. He usually stays in the backyard, in the front yard, or on the porch. And then today, whenever I woke up, before I realized, hey, where, you know, like, where is he? Because he's not, um, like, usually when I get up, he might be asleep still, like, on the back porch for, like, 30 minutes or something like that. And so when I first got up and I went outside, and I get up in the afternoon, kinda, and, uh, I checked the mailbox, a white bobtail went down, and my ex, for many, 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 many years ago, uh, is a truck driver, and last time he talked to me, over a year ago, he told me that he had a white truck, and so this white truck went down, and the thing is, is he called around Mother's Day, and he called my cell phone and my grandmother's house, and he's not supposed to have... My grandmother's number at all um, because her number has been changed since the last time she said she ever spoke to him so I'm just like oh great she lied to me about that or somebody gave him the house you know gave like I mean I might have what three years ago whenever she got her number changed but even at that for him to save my grandmother's phone number for three fucking years like does not seem like him. I like that would be insane. But anyways, so I seen the and I ignored his phone calls and he's like demanding that I call him back. He's like, hey, you know, call me. There's nothing to talk about. We need to be divorced and that's the end of it. And so I just I don't know where my cat's at. Um, my cat tiger. Um, it's weird. My dog's barking at 2 a.m., but, um, <sighs> but she's barked before a few nights, so it's whatever, but, um, I'm just hoping he didn't take my cat. I'm hoping he, like, is not so vengeful of a person, but that's the reason, like, he called when he did, like, literally he called just a few days before Mother's Day. I think it was like a day or two. And he that like that's always been the thing. It's like and even the last time we spoke, it was right before my kid got taken from me. And then my kid got taken from me. And then my parents even mentioned him in court acting like they had been in contact with him and acting like he knew anything about like <laughs> I don't know it makes me so mad it's like you have to put a camera basically on yourself on your life to have proof if you've lived by yourself that you're actually living by yourself for some damn reason I don't I don't understand that or at least that's the way people make me feel um I have not seen my ex in over six years I do not care to ever see him again um I just want a divorce and then, um, I've talked about Jennifer, um, which used to be my neighbor, and she's helped me out, but about how she, like, I, I can't make heads or tails of her, basically. Um, so, and I can't make heads or tails of anybody because we all live in this constant state, I guess, of doing that to each other or something. I don't know, because I feel like... Not everybody has to be that way, and not everybody has to do that, but, um, anyways, we were neighbors, so, 
same landlord. And I went down to see her to drop her car off because she let me borrow her car a few weeks ago or a few weeks ago, a week ago, a week and a half ago. But she let me borrow her car and I went to go drop her car off. And um, the landlord texted and told me that I'm not allowed on the property anymore. So I just send it to Jennifer, showed her. And then Jennifer's like, yeah, I know, it's stupid. And then I'm just sitting here a few days later, and I get another text message being told to stay off her property. And I'm like, <laughs> wow, you know, like, I ain't done shit. I've been sitting where I live. Like, And then that's the thing, too, whenever I went to go give Jennifer her car back, tried to get her to take her car back earlier because I didn't have any gas money to put in it. And she didn't. And so I had to scrounge for a damn change out of her car to put gas money in the fucking car just to get it down here and just to get it back to her the next day. And then the whole joking bit that, I don't know, it's like a whole another level of I don't even know what. And the whole joking bit that went on and the whole, I know two people that ain't going to get a ride home and all this and everything. Like, I just, like, shit like this. <sighs> you know, it just, it just makes you want to kill yourself. It just makes you want to give up. It just really makes you want to give up. And then, on top of it, I write my daughter. I love how people try to act like they don't know shit and they don't talk to people. I write my daughter and tell my daughter that the cat's missing. A few hours pass, or not even a few hours, maybe an hour, hour and a half. And my grandmother calls. Hey, how is everything? You know, she gets in this long conversation about how everything is, where she's at. And then she's like, so, I guess everybody's doing good, you and the pets. So she done heard. It done went down the chain, if you will. It went from my mouth to my daughter's ear, my daughter's mouth to whoever at the house's ear, their mouth to whoever. I mean, I want to fucking die. And then people come up to me, for instance, like Jennifer, I guess you could say, or even EJ or anybody, and they're like, you know, they have this whole, you know, Oh, you know, I don't, I don't do that with anybody and nothing and nobody ever and this and that, you know, and everything. And then you find out that people do because just like, oh, well, I know two people who ain't going to get a ride home, you know, and all this. And it's just like, God, you know, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm done. <sighs> but it's like. So I just go ahead and tell my grandmother, yeah, the cat's missing. Then, then because I'm making videos and I guess somebody's probably watching them that's in my family and like reporting back, you know, to each other or talking shit and everything and all this that they've always done. So I guess I should be used to, I don't know. But she's like, you sound really depressed. And I'm, I just, you know, I mean, yeah, I got other shit going on, but I was just like, well, my cat's missing. And then I got people thinking like I'm a fucking moron because the way I talk, because my accent, because my use of words, because of this, because of that, blah, 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 and all this and everything. And like, I think redundant means like repetitive and shit like that. I can't remember. I'd have to look it up and I'm not in the mood to do it right now. But it's like, because my vocabulary, you know, is that or whatever. It's repetitive and shit like that. People think I'm stupid and everything. And I'm just tired of being treated like shit. Just tired of it. And then that's the thing too, is like everybody's like, oh, you know, you're an asshole. Okay, then leave me alone. If I'm an asshole, bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Be strong. Be strong. You be strong. Tell me goodbye and you're never going to talk to me again. You're never going to see me again. You be strong because I'm an asshole, right? I'm a mean person, right? 
I'm a person that you should attack, talk shit about. You know, I'm this bad person. I'm an asshole. Okay. So then treat me like one. Bye. Leave me alone. And even if I come needing something from you and I'm like, hey, I need to go here. Hey, I need this. Hey, I need that. Tell me to fuck off. Shut the door in my face. Ignore the hell out of me. But y'all don't do that. Instead, instead, everybody just keeps kind of keeping an ear open or an eye open or what the fuck ever. Make up your mind. I'm not going to choose to play the bad guy of my own free will just to help you out of your damn shit because you can't look at yourself in a goddamn mirror. But at the same damn time, if you want to look at me and you want to own up at least a little bit to who you are and be like... And it's the flip, you know, the reverse psychology type shit. And you want to be like, you're just an asshole. Then treat me like one. And stay away from me. And then, on one of the aminos tonight, I had to just kind of let loose and be like, listen. Because I'm tired of... Yeah. You know, everybody wants a relationship. whoop de goddamn doo Or supposedly they do. Or what the fuck ever. Or it's all this manipulation shit and everything. But I'm not for all this shit. I'm not for all this. Let me have Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat and WhatsApp and this and that and da 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 For starters, I don't have the room on my goddamn phone to have the fucking memory to do the damn shit, even if I wanted to. There's numero uno, like, problem one, you know, or what the fuck ever. There that is. Second problem, why should I? I get treated like shit by most people. Dude, dude, like, seriously? Like, why should I? I have, what, like, 14 subscribers? So that's 14 people that might be watching because they're nice to me or might be subscribing to my channel because they're nice to me. But then it might be 14 people, you know, or not 14 because I've spoke with a few and I think they're relatively nice. But it might be 10 of them. Because I hadn't spoke to all of them. Might be ten of them that's just complete and total assholes. That just like to watch my videos to make fun of me whenever they're having, you know, a fucked up day or some shit. Like, I just, I don't know. I just can't. <sighs> but I'm going to end this video here because I don't want to make it long. I shot another one earlier and it was like an hour long and it's basically all the same shit that I just said. It's just like, if I'm an asshole, then leave me alone. If I'm an asshole, don't say my name. If I'm an asshole, bye. Don't do anything for me. Don't be nice to me. Don't call me. Don't talk to me. Don't respond. But at the same damn time, at least have the damn decency, though, to tell me that you think that I'm an asshole. Or that you don't like me. And see, that's kind of like even my landlord. I basically got told that I was a pain in the ass, which, you know... You can take that and go, oh, okay, you know, so you don't like me. And it's like, nah, shit, you know, kind of deal, you know, like, oh, you never liked me anyways, but whatever. Or you did, you pretend, or whatever. But anyways, so that's what it, you know, and so it's like, okay, leave me alone. But then they don't, because they think that I'm not leaving them alone. Because I go to visit somebody. Like, Wow. And then, after that, it's like, okay, I won't anymore. And then still. So, it's like, I'm a, I'm an asshole, right? Just leave me alone then. Like, that's like looking at a pointy object and going, hey, I'm going to touch it. You know, like... I mean, seriously, if, if you want me to take the, the reputation, if you want me to be the bad guy, okay, but actually let me do that then by leaving me alone after you realize that you think that I'm a bad guy or a bad person. But other than that, like, I, I don't know. I'm just frustrated, I guess. And I really want to know where the fuck my cat's at. But, 
There has been like two cats out around here, so hopefully he just ran off with one of them to play and he'll be back in a day or two. So. But I'm going to end it here. I hope everybody's doing good. Keep putting your best foot forward. You got any comments, drop them down below. Got any questions, drop them down below. You can like the video if you want to. You can dislike the video. It's your choice. You have free will. And you can subscribe to my channel if you want to. But other than that, you know, just if you're somebody struggling like I have, like I do and everything, keep putting your best foot forward. Keep trying. Oh, and that's one thing, too, that I said in my video that I lost is say, you know, you have a real awful day and you're like, okay, today, you know, and you write it down or you take a mental note. Today, this is horrible, that's horrible, and you list all the bad shit that happened on your horrible day, you know, because most people are like, oh, just hold on tomorrow, hold on to tomorrow or hold on to next week. It takes a month to create a habit. Hold on at least a month. You, you owe yourself that. Hold on at least a month. And then even at that, if, if at a month you're still not ha having any better days between all that time, then hold on three months. And from the horrible day of your life, you know, till three months in the future, sit there and try to think of anything positive that happened in between. And then realize that if you didn't have that, like, if, if you, like, if you gave up, you wouldn't have that. You wouldn't have that good. You wouldn't have experienced that. And then even if you're like, nope, nothing good happened. Like, you're just, your mind's like, nope, nothing good happened. Do you have food? Do you have water? Do you have a roof over your head? Do you have food in your belly? If you have that, you're doing pretty damn good. Don't forget that. We live in a society now where everything is instant gratification. It happens at the press of a button. That's even like people with relationships. They want to date right off the bat without knowing each other. They want to have sex as soon as possible. They even want to get the relationship done and over with. It's like everything's fast forward. And that's the reason a lot of people are depressed and anxious. is because they're mad when they can't get that instant gratification. So basically we're all a bunch of brats walking around whining and complaining when we don't get things our way. And that's the thing too I mentioned is people that do not understand that when I say that I'm broke or when I say that I don't have any money or when I say my family is not helping me with certain things or whatever, I actually mean it. And there was a kid when I went on a fifth grade field trip with my daughter. She was like 12. And she had $150 a week allowance. $150 a week allowance. At the age of like 11 or 12. And was bragging in front of these other kids. One of them being mine. One of them being this boy that I had to buy his food for him. Some of y'all don't realize how lucky y'all are, how good y'all have had it, because you think you got to have everything. You think everything's meant for you. You think every good opportunity is meant for you. And then if you can't get it by being honest, you get it by lying and being deceitful. God, I hate, ooh, so much. But other than that, like I said, you know, if you're struggling or whatever, hold on. Wait a month. Wait three months. Think of something good. You know, write that first day down all the shitty things. But in the future, you know, a month or three months or whatever, look back and say, anything good happened. I guarantee you it did. I guarantee you something good happened. Don't lie to yourself. Be honest. Stop taking things for granted. Like seriously, stop th taking things for granted. Grant, <laughs> Grant whatever. Granted. <sighs> I'm 
Another reason why people hang up stupid. But, <clears throat> yeah, hope everybody's doing good. Keep putting your best foot forward. Take care. I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye.